I'm actually getting a new iPhone. I wanted to show you the differences between the photographs and the videos with the iPhone and with my regular camera. Hey guys, welcome to the vlog. It's Jill and today is a huge, amazing, wonderful day. I'm so excited about it. I'm actually getting a new iPhone. It's been, I'm gonna say like three years, I think, since I got a new iPhone and I signed up and pre-ordered the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I'm super jazzed about it and I had to set up an appointment between 1 and 1.30 to show up at the Apple store. So I understand that other people are gonna be there potentially that maybe didn't have appointments that are just trying to get an extra phone. So I have no idea what to expect. So come with me, we're gonna unbox it. I'm gonna show you some features in it and tell you a little bit about why I'm getting it and what I'm gonna use it for. So we might walk in there, it could be a madhouse. We might walk in there and it'll be smooth as a cucumber, cool as a cucumber, I'm not sure. All right, so come with me. All right, you guys, we're in the mall and the Apple store is right there. There is a huge line outside. There are people waiting to get in. I have an appointment, so I have no idea if I have to wait in the line or if I'm allowed to just walk in. So, ah, wish me luck. As I'm on my way in, I've been waiting about 30 minutes, but that's not too, too bad. But I'm gonna be helped here and just like, I'm so excited. All right, I'm gonna hang out right here. Yes, do you mind being on? Oh, sure, no, I'm uh, And what's on. your name? Hey, Dimitri. Dimitri, Dimitri's me. helping me out. Sorry, I didn't even do this. No, it's okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're gonna start the process. You guys will see it when I get it. All right, you guys, there she goes. Because I didn't ask if I Oh my gosh. She's beautiful, I got her in rose gold. She matches my shirt, by the way, right? I did a rose gold shirt today on purpose. Okay, so this is the deal. I wanna unbox it. Yes. But um, then we have to put the glass thing on, right? Yes. I'll do a more formal unboxing when we get home, but for right now, I'm gonna open. Here we go. Did you I got my iPhone, it's all set up and ready to go. I did my face ID, all that jazz. Now I'm gonna go home and wiggle into it, set it up a little bit more, I guess, like, I don't know. And then I will unbox it for you and I will show you some of my favorite features. All right, I've arrived home and I'm ready to share with you my new iPhone. First, I'm going to unbox it for you. You already saw it in the store, but I'm gonna do a formal, beautiful unboxing here. This is the box. Um, it's black, which is different. I, any other iPhone box that I've had has been white, so that's the first thing I noticed that was different. Um, but I haven't gotten an iPhone since the iPhone 7. I had the iPhone 7 Max is what I um, am upgrading from. So there's your box. And again, this is the, whoops, this is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And there she blows. So the deal is, I wanted to get a new iPhone because, uh, mostly for vlogging, can't get it out of the box because um, it's so much easier to carry around than to carry a phone and a camera and because this one had such an awesome new camera I thought I would try it and that would be my um, that would be my sort of everyday vlogging camera and you guys have read I'm sure about these three I can't tell you all the technical specs but one of them allows you to go really wide and then wider and then as a 4k camera which the other iPhones do as well I think the 10 and the 7 and the 8, but um, I think this one has a better stabilization, they say, so I'm going to do a little experiment and see about that. So let's take a look at it. So I set this phone up at the Apple Store, and they did. I did a restore from um, iCloud. So the newest thing for me is the swipe up feature, which I had not had before on any of my iPhones. Um, but the first thing I am gonna do now is put on my Do Not Disturb. So I wanna make sure it's on always and it's the same, there we go, same settings that I had before. Um, automatically 
so I'm not getting distracted while I'm driving. So that's my number one thing that I wanted to do. Oh, there we go. And really, I'm not going to go through all my apps and show you like a, what's on my iPhone. We can do that a different time if you're interested. But I wanted to show you um, sort of the differences between the photographs and the videos um, with the iPhone and with my regular camera. So the camera that I'm using right now um, to do this video. So what I'm going to do is there's three things I want to show you guys and that I want to play out play with myself and that is going to be the camera like the wide angle camera um, versus my regular iPhone and then I'm going to do a video of stabilization to show how the video um, stabilizes on the new iPhone versus my camera and then I'm going to do um, sort of a just a regular quality check so you guys can see and I can see what it looks like to film with my camera versus my iPhone. And you guys can let me know after that if you think that this was a good choice for vlogging and if I should use this camera for it if you like the quality. Sound good? But first I do want to finish um, the official unboxing. So you'll notice that my camera or my phone, you, I keep calling it a camera, my phone, you saw that I got the glass protector case on the front. So I think that is so important. Um, I don't want to break it or um, I want to protect it more. So I did get the glass protector. So let's take a look at what comes in the box. So designed by Apple in California. And in here is all of your instructions in case you don't know how to use an iPhone. <laughs> and it's pretty simple. Um, tells you what to do, how to do it, some of the technical stuff, and of course the Apple stickers. The next thing is, this is interesting, it's, oh there we go. This is the charging block. Now this is a little bit bigger than uh, charging blocks that I had with my 8 or really that have come with any of our other iPhones. Um, let me get my standard charging block so you guys can compare. Hold on one second. So this is the standard block that I've received with all my other iPhones and I didn't get the iPhone 10, but I assume it's the same. Actually, Katie did, and I think it's the same block. But this one is bigger. And look at that. The cable is definitely different because look at the port there. So this is what they look like. So let's see that. Now here are the earphones. We'll look at that in a minute, but there we go. There's the port. So let's see. Open these up. Okay, and it looks like this is not your standard USB. You guys might know what that's called. Again, I'm not that technical. I don't know, but holy cow. So now nobody can steal my charger. Yay, thank you, Apple. That is good news. And then this will go right in here. Oops. And you charge it up just like that. Again, right just like that. Okay, and I think most people know how to charge an iPhone, but or a phone. But then these are the earbuds, and they have the same port on the end, which I believe, yes, it seems to be the same as the one. Here's my iPhone 7. So let me just double check that it's the same. I think it's called it's called a Lightning or something. Yeah, that should be same. So it looks like the earbud earbuds um, are the same as with the standard iPhone for all the previous iPhones. I don't think there's anything else in here, but I will double check. Yeah, no, it's stuck. All right, so that's it. So for now, let me put these guys back in their box. And I want to show you guys, I got a... Uh, uh, <laughs> blah, 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 blah. Okay, so I did get a case for my phone. And I just got the standard. I love this rose gold so much, and I do not want to scratch it. So um, I just and I wanted to show the rose gold. So I just got the standard Apple um, clear case. So just so I don't scratch it, I'm going to put this on there. There we go. And open up my new case. Hopefully, I don't need to have scissors. You know how that goes sometimes. So hold on a second here. Of course, I don't need scissors because look. They give you a little arrow right there that says open it up here. And just so you know, this was $39. So, whoops, can you see that? $39 for the case. And I got when I got the glass put on, that was uh, $40. So, 
maybe even $39 as well, but ended up being like $40. So, let's go ahead and put the case on. Beautiful. Something on there already. Get off. Oh, it's cat hair. Great. Thanks, Alice. Okay. Snap that into place. Oh my goodness. And look at that. So that's my clear case. So I got the rose gold. I think it came in four colors. Um, the gentleman who sold, or who worked with me at the Apple Store, he got the matte green. And it looks like such a pretty, pretty color too. But this is it. Look, I can still... Um, hit that button. One of the things that I like about this case as well, and I wanted to double check while I was at the store, so there's a little bump out. I don't know if you can tell, but yes, yeah, so you can see that, right? There's a little bump out right here. So that little bump out covers and protects my three lenses. Um, my, one of my biggest fears is going to be scratching those lenses, so I'm going to be very, very careful with those uh, to ensure that I don't scratch them, and then we will test. All right, you guys, so I hope that you've enjoyed my unboxing and sharing with you the new iPhone 11 Pro Max. Oh, you know what I do want to share with you as well is the size. Oh, my 7 is so messy. Okay, but anyway, so this is the size of my 7 with the case on, but maybe I'll take the case off of my seven so you guys can see exactly Oop. the one of the most amazing things that I love too is how big this screen is it's so it's so great so look at all that space right there they've turned into the screen so I can watch movies not that I have time or even do that I mean I do watch movies with Ryan sometimes at home or the kids but um, probably not on my phone but I do watch um, YouTube and our videos and uh, it'll be nice to watch that on a nice big screen hopefully you guys are watching YouTube as well I know you are right now, but hopefully you continue to watch our videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, by the way, feel free to subscribe right now, right down. Oh, I've got the camera funky, so it's right down there. <laughs> So be sure to subscribe to our channel so you can see all of our new videos. Make sure that you hit the little bell um, to ensure that you are the first to get our videos when they come out. And if you like this video, share it with someone um, that you think might like it and might be maybe looking at the phone or wanted to see the comparisons between the two. So anyway, I'm thrilled to have shared this with you guys and we hope you enjoyed it. Remember, this was not sponsored by Apple, but certainly um, I'm endorsing the uh, iPhone 11 Max it was awesome. I absolutely love it. So be sure to watch our other video where we um, are going to compare uh, pictures taken with the iPhone 7, which I currently have, and then on my iPhone 11 Pro. We're also going to compare video quality, sound, stabilization, all those other really cool things um, with the Canon camera that I, my regular vlogging camera. So if you're interested in vlogging, um, please take a look at that. Even if you're not interesting, interested in vlogging and want to keep watching our vlogs, we want to get your impression and your opinion about what you think we should be using to vlog moving forward. So compare those two. Um, it should be a really fun video as well. So thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Bye -bye. Thanks for watching. Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.